Now we're going to move our button down. Be very careful you're not in symbol edit mode here when you go to do that, because otherwise you'll end up moving your button in one of the keyframes. We want it back in the main timeline, so we're moving all the states of the button. We're going to move it down to the end so it touches the bottom. And we're going to do something where it clicks on and an animation happens. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to name the button in the timeline by double clicking there. Alright, everything gets named, it's the way to do it. And next thing we're going to put a little animation in here. Okay, so um, I'm going to just draw myself a rectangle here, I'll do it kind of with a shortcut. And this little animation, this rectangle is going to shoot up and down the way, okay, so I'm going to make a long rectangle. I'm going to hide it below the button. Now, speaking of below the button, that means the button needs to be on top. So I'm changing my layers around, by dragging the button one onto the top. Next we're going to make an animation. So on my button one now, I'm just going to hide it so I don't get mistaken. This is my animation. I'm going to click on it, right click on it, and I'm going to create motion tween. It's going to prompt you now, you're going to think you made a mistake, but you haven't. This means that it'll make it a symbol automatically for you. You can hit don't show again if you want here, or you can just hit OK. But either way, there's no harm in creating a motion tween and letting the, um, the object be converted into a symbol for you. It saves a, a bit of hassle. All right. My default, if you've set it to 25 frames a second, it'll make 25 frames here, okay? It's expecting you to move your object in the 25th frame. That's how it works. So I'm gonna move the object in the 25th frame, I'm just gonna nudge it with the arrow key here, and I get a, um, a keyframe, do you see that there? So if I wanna get the object doing something, maybe about frame 10 or something, I'll put it in at uh, 12 here. It's gonna move it up, select it, move to, move the object up, okay? So what do we have now? We have got an object moving up and moving back down again, okay? And we're gonna make it triggered by an action in the button. So, how we're gonna do that is this. First of all, let's turn that on and uh, we'll play it and you'll realize it's just shooting up and shooting down like that, okay? Nothing nothing very special. But you'll do, we'll notice that the button, if I turn off the animation here, the button is actually disappearing. You can see it here in all these frames. So we need the button there the whole time. So I'm gonna insert a frame here, not a keyframe, button one, frame 25, okay? And that way, if we preview that, now you'll see the object shooting up and down, okay? Now we can move that and make it all perfect in a moment, so I'm not worried about that so much. I'm more worried about stopping the animation moving. I'm gonna make a new layer, I'm gonna call it Actions, A, C, T, L, U, N, S. And in the first frame, I'm gonna put an action in, Window, Actions, and I'm gonna type in, Stop, S, T, O, P, all lowercase, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Now, if I close that and I preview, you'll see it stops. Even though the button is clickable, no animation is happening. This is the fun bit. We've got to make that button trigger an animation. Here we go. Click on the button once. It has to have an instance name now in the properties window. Instance name, I'm going to call it red, no spaces, no funny characters here, okay? Button one. Okay, that's its appearance name. It needs that if you're going to do any scripting. And what are we going to do to it? Well, once again, click on the object. Window, Actions, we're going to let Flash write some code. Click on Code Snippets, bum, 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 and go to the Timeline Navigation, and we're going to go click to frame and play, click to go to frame and play. I think we've used Stop already. This is actually going to play an animation, so we'll use Click to go, click to, go to frame and play. Double click, there we are. Now I want it to advance to frame two, because that's where my animation starts. So I'm just going to come down here, and I'm going to change what's inside the brackets to frame two. And if we've done this right, just close up everything. And if we preview it, we click on this, the animation plays. Okay, 